Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the finished product of the coop, as I'm gonna call it. Uh, once was a chicken coop, as you'll see in the prior video, right here in your upper right hand corner. If you haven't seen that one, please go to that. And this is the coop. So let's take a look and see all that I did. Um, I repainted it all with the gray trim and blue, along with the white base, which matches the house, as we got the house repainted. I added the light that was actually inside the chicken coop initially, as you saw, and put it actually outside. There was a vent right there. I sealed up as I had extra siding, and so I sealed it up and closed it in. I also made sure that that was sturdy for the conduit for the power to come in. Up there, that vent I left, however, if you look closely inside, which you may not be able to see, it actually is sealed where those three circle holes were. So that obviously made it to where it's now fully sealed inside. It's a little more work to cut those out and actually get them in there. And then along the other side here, there was that chicken coop door right here. I actually was able to seal it in entirely from the back and the front. And then also up here, there was an opening that I sealed up as well. The back, nothing really change just made sure I sealed all the openings around here now if we go inside here you can see that it is entirely enclosed the actual door here is enclosed and insulated I have some nice flooring as well as baseboards in here cleaned up most of it switches are actually upside down I supposed to fix that that's where the conduit was coming in and going into that first outlet. So I actually made a little small uh, box there to cover that conduit in. So we have one outlet there. We have the outlet, the switches here. There was an outlet here I actually removed and put it right up here. So now I have two lights, actually two lights right here. This one plugs in and it change, chains into actually four lights all the way around. And that all comes off of one switch which I don't have it plugged in right now. I actually took the power out. I have one plug up there that I will be using probably to mount a TV or something in the future so I can watch something YouTube while I'm in here. I also need to fix the long cords and correct that. This side as well, got one outlet down there. And then I have one outlet right there. That's midway up. I want it to be in case I move the booth or do anything that's gonna be height level. I have a side one right here. The booth is actually gonna be in this corner over here once I put some MDF, or MD, MDF board and a couple of supports. And I have a power outlet, outlet down there for the compressor. Uh, I most likely will probably use this one or the one over here for a small uh, temperature driven indoor heater for when I need to use it. But I am super stoked about the chicken coop. Uh, cleaned up all the windows, all the chicken poop and blood that was around here, uh, made it look nice inside, textured it, uh, did, um, I think it was R15 interior, and I even did R15 here. Um, I, it was definitely awesome. I have never done something like this before, and it was great to have my in-laws who have done uh, multiple basements in the past in their own homes uh, to help me with this the first time, so I kind of the ins and outs but I'm really happy. This right here is just uh, just stick on um, flooring that you can find for, I think it was $1.28 a piece or something like that. It was definitely really nice to get, makes it look nice in here. Um, but this is the chicken coop. I hope you all enjoyed the video before and this video, and I look forward to showing videos in here when I am painting and building models in the future. So again, I want to thank you all for watching and hope you enjoyed the two videos of how I turned a chicken coop into a paint booth. Thank you all for watching.